Hey. Hello, welcome back to another one. Uh, we're out of the lock today to try and catch a couple of trout, and we're going to try making uh, trout jerky out of them. Something I've never done before, but uh, I think it'll be a good way to try and try and use the fish. So uh, I've not seen much rising today, so I've just put on a wee uh, jelly worm. Uh, and just under an indicator and fairly deep under as well, but that far um, Since there's not much on the surface So we're gonna chuck it out there and see if we can get one or two fish uh, keep them and then uh, Try and make try jerky Well that hasn't worked so I've moved on to a little nymph, I'm just going to pull it under the surface. Yes, I can try it. Sorry about this trout, but you're coming home with me. Done. That's uh, the first one. I think I'll have to get another one because it's uh, not very big, but uh, it's very dark. Um, quite a dark coloured one, but yeah, there he is. So that's a scar or two fish. Uh, so we're gonna head back and uh, get these turned into jerky. See you there. Hi, so we're back in the kitchen now. Um, we gutted the fish, um, just took the skin off, uh, cut it into strips, um, and uh, now we're getting ready to make, basically just make the marinade for it. So we've got uh, soy sauce, uh, two different ones, I think I'll use this one. Um, muscovado sugar, it says brown sugar in the recipe, but I don't have any. Um, we're going to put in some honey, salt, pepper, 
chilies, onion granules, and garlic powder, and then a bit of actual uh, chopped garlic as well. So we're gonna mix it up in a pan first. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. We're gonna go for about one and a half tablespoons of uh, this brown muscovado sugar. I forgot to mention at the start, but we're also going to do one teaspoon of olive oil. Then we're just going to do a sort of dash of uh, chili flakes. The same with the onion powder, garlic powder, a decent wee bit of pepper, and a bit of salt since it's low sodium um, soy sauce. And mix it until the sugar is melted. We forgot to add the onion, so a little bit of that. Now that the sugar is melted, we can put the stove off and uh, just let it cool down. So we got our bag of fish here. So I emptied any juice that was in my bag. Got some paper towels just to Match any extra moisture. Now we can go in for the marinade. I just put it in this to let it cool, and that's about double um, the recipe. Um, so we've got plenty. Now you want to put it in here for at least an hour, I think. But you could do it overnight and then do the, the jerky slow kind of cooking in the morning because it takes so long. Move around. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for now. Five hours later. After about five hours, it was time to strain off all of the marinade uh, off the fish. So just put it in that and leave it there for a few minutes. The fish is looking pretty good though, decently stained with the soy sauce. And then lay it all out on some kitchen roll because uh, you kind of want to get as much moisture off as you can now if you're dehydrating it. And then go over it again with some more kitchen roll just to dab the, the top of them. And put your oven, you want to set that to about 65 um, Celsius. Um, and then grab all your fish, put it on. I used a wire tray here, um, just something that uh, the heat can get the fish from the bottom as well. Uh, but I guess you could use a baking tray, but this was a good way to go. And then that was it in the oven. Time to set a timer for about 12 hours. And after that, this is what it was looking like. So that's us with our trout jerky now. It looks quite good. Um, we didn't put it on for as long as it said. We're probably to get out maybe three hours earlier than the recipe said. The dog is going absolutely nuts for it. But he can't get any because of the garlic and stuff on it. Um, so we'll try it. Oh, you know what? It's actually, it's actually okay. It's obviously kind of dry, as you expect, but yeah, the flavor is quite good. Yeah, you know what? That's actually all right. Don't mind that. So yeah, it's probably worth giving it a go. Um, thanks for watching anyway. Uh, see you later.